on, we have The Batman Part 2, Matt Reeves' Batman, set to release in 2025 as part of uh, James Gunn's Elseworlds sort of uh, universe. Um, he, Matt Reeves has confirmed that um, Greg Fraser, who was a cinematographer for the first one, is returning for the second one. Um, for me, I'm quite excited for this. I'm just based off how fantastic looking that um, first one was. But mm-hmm. what's your thoughts, James? Um, yeah. Oh. I mean, this is a very um, DC heavy um, show today. It's but... all I could find, man. <laughs> it was a struggle. I know, I know. It, it, it was a slow, new, slow news week besides really the um, Superman Legacy castings and Dune trailer. But yeah, no, I mean, like Greg Fraser, he, he's coming for that Oscar nomination. He wants he, it. <laughs> he's going to get it. Um, no, I'm very stoked about this. I had no doubt in my mind that he wouldn't return. I have just felt like he would just the way, you know cinematographer and director pairings that's just kind of you know it's usually the case you know sam mendes always has roger deakins on his side um you know and so nolan, nolan Hoy van hoytema mm-hmm. yeah um so i i just i didn't doubt that he'd be coming back but i would hope that it's more of an improvement um if they kind of used the first film as establishing how that kind of else world if that's what they want to call it um is going to look how it's going to feel um especially with in terms of the, you know the batman how you know lighting wants to be done there so they can they've done all the hard groundwork to just know the look and feel and scale of this universe and then in the second one they don't really have to do all that they can focus on kind of mastering the you know, different shots and, you know, action set pieces. You can go a little bit extra on it. Um, remember the Batman? Um, it's funny. I had this conversation on um, Twitter because it I keep coming up. But the budget for the Batman was meant to be $100 million. Mm-hmm. And so it is a $100 million movie in, in a sense. But the COVID pandemic kind of ballooned all these budgets, which is why we're seeing such so much $300 budgets. Yeah. Because, you know, of like all this like health and safety and extra precautions extra staff to kind of do that kind of stuff so if they are going to dedicate so it ballooned it to 200 million Mm -hmm. so if they're going to be a 200 million thing without all this other covid stuff in the way alongside greg fraser here high budget greg fraser a director that knows the world now like this one can look a lot better i think and i do think it will um so yeah, man, I'm I'm super excited that the Batman Part Two is really high up there for me. Um, yeah, what about you? Yeah, it's very high up there for me too, obviously. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with this. I mean, I think when the Oscars and nominations and stuff came out, we all said, um, for me especially, said that um, <clears throat> it's pretty much a robbery that he wasn't at least nominated. He didn't have to win, but he should have at least been nominated. Yeah, considering other stuff got nominated that really wasn't as good as the Batman, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping he does get nominated if his work is just as good or even better um, in the Batman part two. Mm. Um, I hope, and I want to see this with um, in a Batman film eventually is the Arkham sort of fighting somewhat style, you know, the more mm. John Wick-esque, you know. Yeah. I think, that would be able to wow people because I think people mm. have just seen the brawling sort of Batman. We've got a taste mm. of it in the Batman. The train scene? The train scene. Yeah. Of, you know, those tactical sort of yeah. fighting style. I, I keep telling you my idea <laughs> for Batman and they have to do it at some point. <laughs> Tell everyone your idea. <sighs> this is a great idea. Has anyone seen the raid? I mean, he, they're thrown into what I don't know, a hotel apartment building or something like that. And he has to fight all these levels, all these guys, just to get out of it. My idea is, you know, I guess, um, I'm not going to, I don't know the plot details, but the concept <laughs> of it is that uh, Batman, in like not the Tyro Gallery, but very significant villains, they take control of Arkham, they own the whole thing, and Batman has to go in there, and um, I guess he gets in, and somehow he gets trapped in there, he doesn't know how to... F- how to know how to get out and he just goes it's just a two hour action movie <laughs> pure action barely any dialogue just has to go all out it's like a real um gritty dark 
R-rated movie, um, and he's he's beaten nearly to a pulp. I think it would just be brutal. I want something raid John Wick esque kind of superhero or comic book movie, and I think Batman is the one that can fit the bill with that. I just yeah, I, it just it's just more intriguing to me. It's it's just different to what we have. You know, yeah. I I like sure I love when you know we get these really um. You know, these really close up hand to hand combat kind of scenes, you know, Winter Soldier, um, the, the Batman, obviously. There are some other movies out there um, that did it, but it's just always so entertaining. And so for all, I would just love it, especially, you know, how like, hasn't Batman like mastered like six different? A lot more. How much is it? I think, I'm pretty sure it's over 100, depending on what comic book you pick up. Martial on. arts? 100. Okay, yeah. So if you could see him like, Trying to he analyzing his opponent and, and then using the right one for it. So similar, you know, the um, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, how like before a fight actually happens, he like detects what he's going to do and it happens on screen. Yeah, something like something that. like that, yeah. but better. Yeah, but better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so like whether it's like um, you know, but using like ones that have a distinct visual difference, whether it's like you know, kind of like kickboxing, just kind of like gritty kind of stuff, or whether you know it's Wing Chun, it's like real like. Uh, or it's like Aikido or um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu all on the ground and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Just blending all that. Oh, God. I'm a genius, <laughs> honestly. There you go, James Gunn. If you're listening to the Let's Be Real, first thing, give us a shout out, please. And second, <laughs> you got your director for another Batman film sitting right in front of me. Okay, I don't know if I could direct it, but I can come up with the ideas. It doesn't. Uh, no, you're director yeah. now. The, okay. the pitch has been made to James Gunn. He's going to call you. Yeah. All right. I'm <laughs> I'm expecting the call sometime. <laughs> but no, yeah. That, but that, yeah, how would, yeah, at least like changing of uh, martial arts, wouldn't that be sick? Like, it would be good. We yeah. can like see him change stances, you know, to like suit the fighting style, different sort of um, yeah, martial arts. To I, s- especially for Robert Pattinson's Batman. I don't want Michael Keaton flying in and <laughs> kicking people like 10 meters high in the sky. I think. Robert Pattinson's Batman is not that ridiculous, to be honest. It's more grounded, and I think Matt Reeves understands the character of the Batman to not make it like that. Yeah, no. Man. Um, but it'll be great to see Batman use different martial arts on different villains. Mm. So your idea, but instead of like changing it mid-fight, he just he knows how to fight one particular villain. Yeah. So he just uses that, and then we see a completely different fighting style to a different villain. Because he knows the <clears throat> what they're using and what they're fighting with, or yeah. how they're fighting. Yeah. yeah. But also what you described is very similar to Arkham Asylum. But yeah. But that's, always, that's the same fight style, that's highway. Yeah. 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 But no, that is great. Yeah. And if you couple your idea with Greg Fraser as uh, the Batman part three. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it now. Like, and I want it to be like R rated. Me too. Yeah. I also think, and it's crazy how they haven't done this, is that no one's done a one take scene off the Batman. I think that would just be fantastic whether you make it like third person or first person where you see it mm. through his eyes, just a one take of him, like, yeah, you, you, you use your example, yeah. you know, all these, like, C-level villains mm. come out to try to stop Batman, and we just see, like, him, just one take, all these characters before he gets, like, you know, one of the big bosses, like Two-Face or something. Yeah, no, oh, you could do that. It could, oh, could look so nice as well. Okay. But, yeah, no, it needs to be, needs to be bloody. Like, <laughs> I just want, like, the last shot, and it's just, like, blood all over him. One can dream for R-rated Batman. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that. But one can dream. Oh, I mean, they did R-rated Joker, and that what is that got a billion dollars? Yeah, it did. Yeah, th- there's sure. there's yeah. no excuse to not do that. That's true. People would if if people saw like the movie that I just said, people would show up and they'd be like, "Holy shit!" They would go insane. I reckon. Just seeing like Batman yeah. unhinged. Like, yeah, yeah. He doesn't kill people, mm. but he really fucking makes sure. That the people he beats up wishes they were dead. Yeah, and, and if they did the whole like Sherlock Holmes thing, where it's like, yeah, he's like narrating over himself. He's like, oh, like Wing Chun stance, like adapt, dumb stuff like that. Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we did in the first bit. We did sort of see. Um, in fact, we saw a lot where he mm. narrated, narrated to himself rather than say natural dialogue. From oh yeah, 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 yeah. So you could use the um, narrating over top of it. Um, yeah. I mean, I know they want story in there, but I think if you just did even uh, like a hundred minute, hour forty kind of thing, people would love it. If it, 
if you could tie it to like a, a purpose, something close to the character, like they're holding someone hostage or kids or um, someone close to him. Yeah. Yeah. One day in another universe, maybe, but I don't know. Nine Warner Brothers, I don't think. Oh, man, do I'm, I'm getting so excited <laughs> and it's not even a real thing. <laughs> All right, we're making a fan film now. Catch us on uh, Fanful Games and uh, we'll drop our first movie soon. Yeah. Me as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> The shortest Batman in history. (laughs) 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 It's Wolverine. (laughs) Yeah, I'm short, guys. Very short. Um, 